Welcome to Virtual Labs at National Institute of Technology, Karnataka. In this tutorial, I'll show you the experimental procedure for kinetics in a batch reactor. This is the experimental window. Aim of this experiment is to obtain the rate law for saponification of ethyl acetate using a batch reactor by integral method of analysis and to determine the temperature dependency of rate constant. Let us see how to do experiment with this simulation tool. This is the line diagram of experimental setup. This is a batch reactor. This is a conductivity meter. Hot water supply to the jacket. Available reactor volume is 3100 milliliters. And stock concentration of ethyl acetate and sodium hydroxide available are 0 0.02 to 0 0.06 gram mole per liter. Conductivity meter range is 0 to 200 millisiemens. Temperature range is 25 to 60 degrees Celsius. Enter initial ratio of uh, reactants to 1.1. Enter stock concentration of A. Let us enter some 0 0.03. Enter stock concentration of B. Let us enter 0 0.035. This stock concentration of A and B should be in this range because available range is this much. Enter reaction temperature. Let us conduct experiment at uh, 40 degree Celsius. Calculate and add required amounts of B and A. Okay. Add required volume of B. I'll show you the calculation part. Concentration of NaOH in the stock is 0 0.035. Concentration of ethyl acetate in the stock is 0 0.03. And reaction temperature Va plus Vb. That is total volume of the reactor is 3100. From this equation, from these two equations, one can calculate Va and Vb. A volume of ethyl acetate and volume of NaOH to be added into the reactor. Let us consider the rounded up values. 1596, 1504. Enter these values. 1504. And 1596. If you try to enter any wrong value, shows up some error. Incorrect amount of ester is added. Okay. Correct it. And enter some time at which you want to see conductivity meter reading. Let us uh, take 10 seconds and click the button conductivity meter reading. This is the conductivity at after 10 seconds of the reaction. To enter another time click reset button and enter another time let us enter some 30 seconds keep doing this for some readings like uh, some one minute two minutes like this to see all the readings just click the button display result this displays at different times what are the conductivity meter readings uh, from these readings users are supposed to calculate concentration of uh, the uh, like final aim of this experiment is to determine the rate constant from the performance equation performance equation of batch reactor is this one plotting this LHS versus time gives a plot of this kind slope of this plot is c a naught m minus 1 into k k is rate constant knowing c a naught and m one can calculate rate constant these are the this is the observation table let us do sample calculation for this reading at a time one minute conductivity meter reading is 69 point Seven three. 
this is calibration conductivity meter calibration y is conductivity meter reading c is concentration of any watch at this conductivity of the any watch concentration of any watch would be this so at 1 minute conductivity meter reading is this from this calibration curve uh, concentration of NaOH in the reaction mixture is this one uh, Ca0 Cb0 initial concentration of uh, A and B can be calculated using this formulas Knowing CA0, CB0, one can calculate CA, concentration of ethyl acetate in the reaction mixture. And from CA and CA0, conversion of ethyl acetate can be calculated like this. Knowing conversion and uh, molar ratio, actual. This molar ratio is actual value. Actual molar ratio can be calculated from stock concentration of A and B and rounded up volumes of A and B, these values. And calculating these things for all the readings and plotting the graph gives a plot like this. All the calculations are done like this and after this plotting this graph gives a plot of this kind of slope 0 0.004 slope the uh, slope of the plot is this one C A naught multiplied by M minus 1 multiplied by K knowing C A naught and M actual one can calculate rate constant after calculating this rate constant, one can check the value, cross check the value using self evaluation. Go to self evaluation, click the button self evaluation and enter rate constant 2.61. Click the button result. Simulator calculated rate constant is 3.5. We have done calculations only for a uh, few readings. Okay the plot would look like this this is how you do the experiment thank you